I made it for you, Rarity. Why, yes, it is an ice cream house. Chocolate fudge shingles, Rocky Road garage. Huh? Twilight? Oh, hi, Spike. It's the middle of the night. Why are you pacing like this? Frankly, I don't know how you can sleep at a time like this. 3 a.m.? It's awful. It's horrible. It's tragic. Uh, I don't understand. What's wrong? Here. Now do you see what's wrong? We forgot to celebrate Arbor Day. No. The problem is I just finished planning my schedule for the month, but I forgot to leave time to plan for next month. Don't you see? There's no time in my schedule to put together another schedule. I could move my meeting with the Ponyville Hay Board to the following Tuesday, but then I have to reschedule my lunch with Pinkie Pie. And you know what a nightmare she is with scheduling. This is an absolute disaster. My whole year could be thrown off. And I woke up from an ice cream dream for this. My little pony, my little pony. Could be until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Oh my gosh, I think I did it. If I can find a way to read the Art of Invisibility spells and Thornhoof's Brief History of Candlelight at the same time, that could leave me a half hour scheduling window. Huh? What's going on? Twilight, you've got to listen to me. Who are you? I mean, you're me, but I'm me too. How can there be two me's? It's not scientifically possible. You are not scientifically possible. Twilight, please, I have a very important message for you from the future. You're from the future? That's right, now listen. What happened to you? The future must be awful. Please, I don't have much time. Is there some sort of epic pony war in the distant future or something? Actually, I'm from next Tuesday morning. But that's not important right now. I can't believe time travel is really possible. How did you, I mean I, figure it out? The time spells are in the Canterlot archives, but that's not- Really? Where? I've never seen them. They're in the star swirl the bearded wing. Now you have to listen to- Is time travel fun or does it hurt? I have so many questions for you. I have something extremely important to tell you about the future, and I only have a few seconds, so you've got to listen. Whatever you do, don't- Future Twilight? Oh no! What was she trying to warn me about? Her clothes, her mane, that scar! Oh, what a mess she is! I mean, I am. Or I will be. She must want me to prevent whatever horrible thing happens in the future! <gasps> Come on, Fluttershy! The party can't start till the party supplies get there! Happy to help, but can I carry... Balloons next time. <laughs> Listen, every pony, I've got something really important to say. <laughs> <laughs> This is no laughing matter. We have a crisis on our hooves. <gasps> I've just been visited by myself from the future. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a joke. My future self tried to warn me about a horrible disaster that's going to occur sometime before next Tuesday morning. What kind of disaster? I don't know. I got sucked back into the future before I could explain. <laughs> Whatever should we do, Twilight? How do we stop the disaster if we don't know what it is? We'll just have to work together to make sure we're safe. Rainbow Dash, you and the other Pegasi spread out over Equestria and look for any kind of problem that could lead to a disaster. And I mean anything. You got it! Every pony else? <coughs> any pony else want to panic with me? No? Every pony else.
else. Time to disaster-proof Equestria. <laughs> Free Forest. The perimeter's clear. Great. And my team gave the all clear from Philadelphia to Las Pegasus. Excellent. Well, we've done everything on the list. But still, future Twilight looked like she'd been through a horrible ordeal. I just have this nagging feeling we should be looking for something bigger than loose bolts and leaky pipes. <laughs> supposed to be guarding the gates of Tartaros. But if he's here, then all the ancient evil creatures that have been imprisoned there can escape and destroy Equestria. Destroy Equestria? Yeah! Isn't it great? Hey, Cerberus, you look like you could use some obedience training. Magic obedience training. Huh? Who's the cute wibble three-headed dog? Wow, I knew you were good with animals, but this is amazing. Oh, he's just a big furry guy who got out of his yard. That's all. Right, Cerberus? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Pinky. Yes, Twilight? Do you have a ball I can borrow? I have balls stashed all over Ponyville. In case of ball emergency. Hey, Cerberus! Look what I have! I'll be back as soon as I've returned him to the gates of Tartarus. Once he's back at home, there'll be no disaster. <sighs> I wish Twilight would go on epic adventures more often. Best night's sleep I've had in weeks. Hey, Twilight. How'd it go with Cerberus? Great! I got him back before any of the evil creatures could escape. Oh, no. What's the big deal? It's just a lost dog flyer. I guess the princess hasn't heard we found Cerberus yet. It's not that. It's this. A paper cut? Come on, Twilight. You really need to toughen up. Just clean it out and you'll be fine. The cut's in the exact same spot as the scar on future Twilight's cheek. We haven't changed the future at all. The disaster is still coming. If the disaster wasn't caused by Cerberus getting loose, then what could it possibly be? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe you ought to give the pacing a rest. You've worn a groove into the floor. I don't have time for another one of your lectures, Spike. This is serious. My lectures? I did everything I could think of to change the future, but it didn't work. So maybe it's not what I do. Maybe it's what I don't do. Huh? If I stand right here and don't move a muscle until next Tuesday, I can't possibly do whatever it is that Future Twilight wanted to warn me not to do. Really? So, no matter what happens, you're not gonna move a muscle, huh? Then maybe you won't mind if I... eat an entire tub of ice cream! So good! Spike, mm. uh, stop! Think of the stomach ache! <laughs> stomach ache, huh? That's future Spike's problem. Hey, Twilight! Another Pegasus just got back from Baltimore with an all clear and. <laughs> What's going on? Aren't you gonna stop him? <laughs> 
She sure isn't. In fact, she's not gonna move till next Tuesday. She thinks it'll prevent the disaster from happening. <laughs> oh, this is too rich. <gasps> hey, Twilight, there's a mouse right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Let me try! Oh, no! What happened? I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to! It was a total accident! Show me. Uh, I'm not so sure that's a... Show me! Oh, no. This is the same main cut as Future Twilight. You know, it really doesn't look too bad. I don't care how it looks. It's just another sign that the future hasn't changed. Not doing anything didn't work either. Oh, I wish there was a way to know what was going to happen so I could stop it. You want to see the future? I might know some pony who can help. What's this? It's Madam Pinky's place. Madam Pinky? Um, enter the chamber of Madam Pinkie Pie. For the answers you seek, let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh, best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes. I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see you, Twilight. You will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and that's it. Are you sure? Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that. See? Where did that even come from? La 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 Gosh, I haven't seen Twilight since the flower pot incident. Hope she still isn't mad. Uh... Off by 0.02 from yesterday. Carry the 15. Negative azimuth on the 14th moon. Hey, Pinky. Twilight's really serious about finding out about that cool birthday present, isn't she? Who cares? As long as I can keep eating ice cream. Sorry, future Spike. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure! So I was thinking, after I came to see Madam Pinky and the flower pot landed on my head, see the bandage, just like the bandage from the future. Nice! I had an epiphany after that flower pot. Doing things didn't work, not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either, so I only had one other choice. Monitor everything. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. I thought I saw something last night in the Horsehead Nebula, but after staring at it for three straight hours, I realized I was wrong. Three hours? But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. You've been awake too long, Twilight. Yeah, Tuesday's not three days from now. Tuesday's tomorrow. <gasps> hey, did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadioptric telescopes? I have no idea. Ow! My eye! Don't worry, Twilight. I have eye patches stashed all over Ponyo in case of eye patch emergency. There! Now you look like a pirate. A sleepy pirate with a really weird name cut. The eye patch. Another sign. Nearly all the signs have come true. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow, and the disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution! I'll just have to... Stop time! Okay, the Canterlot archives are right over there. Let's move! Uh, 
I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. Guard! Come on, you guys. Oh, that was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh. Are you sure? Focus, guys. The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! No, it's not fun! Aww. I still don't understand how sneaking into the archives is going to help her find out about her birthday present. The coast is clear. Now slowly lift me into the window so we can... Ah! Uh, let's get this over with. are correct, the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing should be right here. Uh, Twilight? What is it, Spike? Isn't this where we came in? Cool! Can we climb in the window again? That was super fun. I don't understand. It's supposed to be right here. How are we supposed to find it now? Maybe we should ask some pony in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing. Huh. I miss that. Look at all those priceless magic scrolls. There are more than I ever imagined. Twilight, the card! What do we do? What do we do? Hey, Twilight. Haven't seen you in a while. Let me open that for you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no! no. no. Look! I look just like future Twilight. The last sign has come true. And that's bad, right? Come on. It's almost Tuesday morning. The disaster could happen at any moment. But how do we find the time-stopping spell? There must be a million scrolls here. I don't know. It's over! It's officially Tuesday morning! Uh, no! Tuesday morning? The disaster! Incoming! I don't know, Twilight. I don't see any disasters. It looks like a pretty nice day. Good morning, Twilight. Love the new hairstyle. Well, happy Tuesday! Why isn't any pony surprised to see me sneaking around in here? Is it possible there never was a disaster? That I've just been making myself frantic over nothing? I don't get it. If future Twilight wasn't warning you about a disaster, then what was she trying to tell you? <laughs> I don't know, but I do know one thing. I look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and it's all because I couldn't stop worrying and let the future handle itself. Well, not anymore. From now on, I'm going to solve problems as they come and stop worrying about every little thing. That's great! Does that mean there won't be any more late-night pacing? No more late-night pacing. If only I had learned this lesson a week ago, we wouldn't have had to go through all this. Twilight, Twilight, I found something! It doesn't stop time, but it lets you go back in time. It says you can go back once, and it only lasts for a few moments. Does that help? Pinky, you're a genius! Woohoo! Now I can go back and tell past Toilet that she doesn't need to go berserk with worry about a disaster that's never gonna come! Twilight, you've got to listen to me! Who are you? I mean, you're me, but I'm me too! How can there be two me's? It's not scientifically possible. You are not scientifically possible! Twilight, please! I have a very important message for you from the future! 
You're from the future? That's right. Now listen, what happened to you? The future must be awful. Please, I don't have much time. Is there some sort of epic pony war in the distant future or something? Actually, I'm from next Tuesday morning. But that's not important right now. I can't believe time travel is really possible. How did you, I mean I, figure it out? The time spells are in the Canterlot archives, but that's not... Really? Where? I've never seen them. They're in the star swirl the bearded wing. Now you have to listen to... Is time travel fun or does it hurt? I have so many questions. I have something extremely important to tell you about the future, and I only have a few seconds that you've got to listen. Whatever you do, don't waste your time worrying about... Ugh, I can't believe I just did that. Did you tell her about the cool birthday present? Remember last week when Future Twilight came to warn me about something? That was me trying to warn myself not to worry so much. Now I'm going to spend the next week freaking out about a disaster that doesn't even exist. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's past Twilight's problem now. <laughs> oh, I guess you're right, Pinky. Oh, my stomach. I, I think it's all that ice cream. I thought the stomach gig would be Future Spike's problem. But now I am Future Spike. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Future Spike. Let's get you home. Thank <laughs> you.